In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the crab stitch, specifically how to work it in borders on my pumpkin book sleeve pattern. For clarity, this video uses US terminology. This stitch can be a little tricky at first, as you won't be turning your work, and you'll also be working from left to right with a single crochet stitch. It's also known as the reverse single crochet. Okay, so let's begin. I'm just undoing my work just so I can show you from the beginning. You're going to start with the chain one on your hook. So now you'll locate your first single crochet to the right. In this case, I'm working in my second because of my tension. So now you'll insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you'll yarn over and pull through two of your loops. Just like you would a single crochet, but instead you're working to the right. And now you'll work in your next stitch to the right. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through those loops. And now you continue this across. So insert into your next stitch to your right, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, and pull through those loops again. And you repeat this all the way across. I just wanted to show you what the wrong side of the crab stitch looks like, so I'm just gonna turn my work here. You won't have to do anything special for your corners. It's just one crab stitch per each stitch all the way across to the other side. So here's how the crab stitch should be looking. You should have a decent amount of stretch. It shouldn't be pulling in on itself. And if you find it's curling, you may need to block your work or redo your crab stitch because your tension was too tight. Now you can cut your yarn and pull a tail. If you have an extension on the edge kind of shown like mine, as I worked my last crab stitch in the top of my HDC stitch rather than around the post when I first single crocheted around the border. To hide this, I take my tail uh, and I put it through the crab stitch when I'm weaving in my ends and I find that the tension of this pulls it kind of back in place. And that's it. That's how you do the crab stitch. 